So WWE has seemed to book themselves kind of in a conundrum here. And what I'm talking about is with Rhea Ripley, Nia Jax, and Becky Lynch. For the longest time, they have teased Becky versus Rhea Ripley all the way back to last summer, I do believe. And then you have Nia Jax, who's came back to the WWE, who will be facing Rhea Ripley at Elimination Chamber. As always, if you like the video, hit that like, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. And if you if it does come down to Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania, who are you going to cheer for? The conundrum I'm talking about is the fact that in Philadelphia, it's a pretty known uh, fact that the Philadelphia fans most likely will side with the heel. They will be on the heel side. So if Becky Lynch, who's most likely going to win the Elimination Chamber, and Nia Jax, who's most likely to lose that Elimination Chamber, if Becky Lynch goes on to win, faces Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania in Philadelphia, you take the chance that you are not going to get the the reaction that you're hoping for inside Philadelphia. You take the chance... That the fans will turn on Becky so bad that you kind of ruin it. Because let's face it, Rhea Ripley is, no matter what WWE does, is a is a baby face. The fans love her. I love her. She's too cool to be hated. So what I would what I would do if I was booking WrestleMania, you do exactly as I just said. Rhea, Rip, Rhea Ripley beats Nia Jax at Elimination Chamber. Becky Lynch wins the Elimination Chamber match to go on to challenge Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. But you have Nia Jax make the case that she can still find her way into the match because Becky Lynch has never beaten Nia Jax one-on-one. -on -one. You make WrestleMania a triple threat match, and I know what you're thinking. Well, that's not... You know, then you can have excuses, but that might be what WWE wants to do to get the reaction in which they want to drag out this rivalry. You have Nia Jax insert herself into the WrestleMania match. You have Rhea Ripley beat, win at WrestleMania by pinning Nia Jax. WrestleMania backlash. You could have either Becky make the case to Rhea that you never beat me one on one. And challenge Rhea Ripley and then win the title at WrestleMania Backlash. Or you can get the rivalry sort of back up with Nia Jax and Becky Lynch going into WrestleMania Backlash. Well, Nia can blame Becky that I only lost because of you. And you can keep the title on Rhea. I don't feel like right now is the time to take the title off of Rhea. I really don't. And here's the thing. If nothing else, you need to find a baby face who's so over with the fans that they will boo Rhea Ripley. That's really the biggest scenario here. If you had a baby face, and I would say, you, I'll take Zelina Vega. If Zelina Vega would challenge Rhea Ripley, I think that you would, and, in, you, and it's someone that you wouldn't think is going to beat Rhea Ripley. It's someone that you wouldn't think has a chance. We always seen it. Back at last year's WrestleMania backlash, I do believe, when they was in Puerto Rico, but you run it back. I know she's on SmackDown, but it, I'm just using her as an example. But you need somebody as a baby face who has so much sympathy and is so in tune with the fans that they will turn on Rhea Ripley. Becky Lynch is not that person because there's people who like Becky and then there's people who don't like Becky. Like I said, she's not as over and as hot as she once was. She's still over. She's still hot. She's still on fire, but not like she was when the man persona was first introduced. A lot of it being the fact of big time Bex, the heel version of Becky when she returned, that did not work. That's, and all I'm saying here is, you don't have to agree with this. This is what these conversations are for. But that's what I would do in the booking scenario in order to save Becky and Rhea. I just, right now, I don't feel like Rhea needs to lose the title. And I don't think Becky can take another loss in a big match. She already lost to Nia Jax cleanly on Monday Night Raw at the beginning of the year. She didn't win the Royal Rumble. 
She's most likely going to win Elimination Chamber, but you got to do something here to protect Becky, protect Rhea, and a loss at WrestleMania would not hurt Nia Jax in the slightest. I guess we shall see.